Archbishop Justin Welby recently made headlines by criticizing Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. He accused them of being rude to the late Queen Elizabeth during a sermon. This was a surprising move, given the Archbishop's usual calm demeanor. So, what happened? Why did the Archbishop suggest stripping them of their titles? Let's explore this further. The Fall from Grace, a royal family torn apart. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's story is not a typical fairy tale. Their union, once celebrated, has turned into a public feud. This feud has been one of the most talked about in recent history. The Oprah interview was a major turning point. It revealed shocking details and accusations that shook Buckingham Palace. Archbishop Justin Welby's recent comments have added another twist to this saga. Imagine a peaceful Sunday morning sermon turning into a critique of Harry and Meghan. The Archbishop's words were unexpected and direct. The Archbishop's Astonishing Rebuke Archbishop Welby is known for his role in reconciling royal disputes. He even officiated Harry and Meghan's wedding. But this time, his tone was different. He expressed frustration and disappointment. He accused Prince Harry and Meghan of disrespecting Queen Elizabeth. This was a bold move, considering the Archbishop's usual approach. To disrespect Her Majesty the Queen, the embodiment of duty and grace, is to dish the very fabric of this nation, he said. This statement has been dubbed the sermon heard round the world. The congregation was shocked. Was the Archbishop suggesting that Harry and Meghan's public jabs at the royal family were the reason for his words? The mention of stripping titles added to the surprise. The title debate. Should Harry and Meghan lose their royal status? The debate over Harry and Meghan's royal titles is ongoing. Since their departure from royal duties, there's been speculation about their titles. It's a complex issue. Shouldn't leaving royal duties mean giving up royal titles too? If they've chosen to follow a different path, should they still be called royal? Titles come with benefits, like access to opportunities in Hollywood and business. But Archbishop Welby seemed to think they shouldn't have them anymore. A sermon or a declaration? Archbishop Welby's sermon was unusual because it touched on personal disputes and the monarchy's future. His words were not just about faith but also about the legacy of Queen Elizabeth and the monarchy's future. Did Harry and Meghan really offend the Queen enough to lose their royal titles? Some think it wasn't just the interviews and public statements. Maybe there were private moments of disrespect. Queen Elizabeth was more than a figurehead, she was a beloved matriarch and a symbol of stability. With her passing, her legacy is more fragile than ever. Many believe any disrespect to her memory is a betrayal to the monarchy itself. Is this the final nail in the coffin? Now, you might wonder if this is the end for Harry and Meghan. Has their fight with the royal family reached a point of no return? If the archbishop is calling for their titles to be taken away, is there any going back? Not so fast. The royal family has a history of private reconciliation. Prince Harry, despite his controversies, is still the son of the future king, Prince Charles. Meghan, despite criticism, remains a major public figure with influence. So, while this twist is dramatic, it's hard to say if it will lead to their titles being stripped. But one thing is clear. The tension between Harry and Meghan and the royal family shows no signs of easing. What comes next? Where do we go from here? For Harry and Meghan, this might be a critical moment of reflection. Will they continue to speak openly about their struggles with the royal family, or will they step back and reassess? And for the royal family, the question remains, how will they handle this ongoing feud, now that the Archbishop has weighed in? Could this be a turning point? The monarchy has survived countless scandals and crises over the centuries. But with Queen Elizabeth gone, the dynamics have shifted. There's a new king, a new generation of royals, and new challenges. And at the heart of it all are two figures who were once beloved but now cause division. Final thoughts. Should titles really matter? This brings us back to the central question. Does it really matter if Harry and Meghan keep their titles? Titles may be symbolic, but symbols hold immense power. For many, Harry and Meghan's continued use of their royal titles feels like a contradiction. How can you reject the institution and yet still benefit from its most prestigious symbols? But for others, the debate over titles seems like a distraction. Shouldn't we focus on the bigger issues? The modern monarchy faces challenges that go far beyond Harry and Meghan, from public perceptions of the institution's relevance to the role of the royal family in a rapidly changing world. Yet, for now, one thing is certain. Archbishop Welby's explosive sermon has reignited a debate that's unlikely to fade anytime soon. Whether Harry and Meghan's titles are ultimately stripped remains to be seen, but the drama surrounding their relationship with the royal family shows no signs of slowing down. Your turn. What do you think? This royal saga is more than just a headline. 
It's a reflection of the complex and evolving relationship between tradition and modernity. What do you think? Should Harry and Meghan lose their titles, or is the whole debate blown out of proportion? Let's hear your thoughts. After all, it's not every day the Archbishop calls out a royal couple in the middle of a sermon. Share your take in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this unfolding royal drama. Certainly, let's continue diving into this unfolding drama and keep the momentum going. The larger picture, what does this mean for the monarchy? While it's easy to get wrapped up in the details of Harry and Meghan's saga, let's zoom out for a moment and look at the bigger picture. The British monarchy is one of the oldest and most scrutinized institutions in the world. It has weathered wars, scandals, and changes in public opinion that could have toppled lesser institutions. Today, the monarchy faces a new world with social media. Every royal action is analyzed instantly. Royal family members now share the digital space with influencers and celebrities, leading to new expectations and accountability. Harry and Meghan's public exit from the family showed how royal life can be modern and messy. Their interviews, discussing race and mental health, brought the monarchy under intense scrutiny. Archbishop Welby's comments have added to the drama. His sermon was a strong critique, signaling that even top figures in British society are taking sides in the family feud. But what does this mean for the monarchy's future? A monarchy at a crossroads. The monarchy has been at a crossroads for a while. With Queen Elizabeth's passing, the family lost its most stable figure. She was the glue that held everything together for decades. Now, with King Charles on the throne, the family faces new challenges. They must stay relevant in a modern world and connect with younger generations who might see the monarchy as outdated. Harry and Meghan's departure was a cultural moment. It marked a shift in how the royal family is seen and how much privacy they deserve. The couple became symbols of modernity, embracing openness and vulnerability. But others saw their actions as a betrayal to the institution. They felt it was an insult to Queen Elizabeth's lifelong dedication to duty. Stripping titles, a consequence or gesture. Let's talk about the heart of the matter, stripping Harry and Meghan of their titles. Removing their titles might seem fitting for leaving royal duties. But titles are more than just roles. They are about identity, history, and symbolism. Taking away their titles would be a dramatic move. Should they be stripped of their titles? Removing their titles wouldn't change their daily lives much. Harry and Meghan are financially independent and have built a life in the United States. But symbolically, it would be a huge statement, cutting their ties to the institution. For some, this is exactly the point. If they are not acting as royals, why keep the titles? For others, titles are a birthright that shouldn't be taken away, no matter the circumstances. The public's role in the royal drama. The royal family lives in the public eye, and public opinion matters a lot. In the age of social media, opinions can change quickly, affecting the royal family. Where does public opinion stand on this issue? The public is divided. Some see Harry and Meghan as modern-day heroes, fighting for mental health, racial equality, and personal freedom. They believe the couple has the right to live their lives freely, without royal duty constraints. But others think their public critiques have gone too far. They see the couple's actions as selfish and disrespectful towards the late Queen Elizabeth. For these individuals, stripping Harry and Meghan of their titles is necessary to protect the royal family's integrity. The Archbishop's Role Unlikely Critic or Royal Insider Archbishop Justin Welby's role in this drama adds complexity. As the head of the Church of England, he holds a unique position in British society. The Church and the monarchy are closely tied, with the Archbishop playing a key role in royal events. He officiated both Prince William and Prince Harry's weddings. But his public rebuke of Harry and Meghan during a sermon was unusual. The Archbishop is known for promoting reconciliation and healing, so his harsh words surprised many. Was this an expression of his personal frustration with the couple? Or was it a reflection of broader sentiments within the church and the royal family? Is the Archbishop voicing thoughts that other royal insiders are hesitant to say aloud? Either way, his comments carry significant weight. The Archbishop isn't just a spiritual leader, he's a public figure with influence over millions. His critique of Harry and Meghan adds legitimacy to the idea that their actions have crossed a line that even the Church finds difficult to forgive. A new era for the royals? As we bring this exploration to a close, one thing is clear. We're witnessing a turning point for the royal family. With Queen Elizabeth gone, the monarchy is entering a new chapter. The tensions between Harry, Meghan, and the rest of the royals are far from resolved. Archbishop Welby's sermon was just the latest flare-up in an ongoing saga. Whether or not Harry and Meghan are stripped of their titles, the public will continue to watch every development with bated breath. What does the future hold for the royal family? 
Will Harry and Meghan find a way to reconcile with the institution they once called home, or will their departure become permanent, with titles and all? And what role will King Charles play in all of this? As the new head of the family, he'll have to navigate these treacherous waters carefully, balancing the traditions of the monarchy with the pressures of modernity. One thing's for sure, the story is far from over. Call to action, your royal opinion. What's your take on all of this? Should Harry and Meghan lose their titles for their perceived disrespect to Queen Elizabeth? Or is this whole debate overblown and missing the bigger issues? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below and join the conversation. And don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on this ongoing royal drama. This is one saga you won't want to miss. A shift in the royal landscape. The bigger implications. As we move forward, let's not underestimate the broader implications of this ongoing feud between Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and the royal family. This isn't just a family spat, it's a cultural shift, one that reflects changing attitudes towards institutions like the monarchy, which once seemed untouchable. Consider how rapidly the world has changed since Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from royal duties. The global conversation around privilege, responsibility, and the role of public figures has evolved, and with it, the perception of the British monarchy. Are we witnessing the gradual dismantling of an ancient institution, or is this just a momentary hiccup in the grand scheme of things? There's an argument to be made that the royal family must adapt to survive in today's fast-paced, digital-first society. The days of unquestioning reverence for royalty are fading, replaced by a more critical, engaged public that expects transparency, accountability, and relevance from its leaders. But here's the million-dollar question. Can the royal family maintain its relevance without embracing change, or does it risk alienating an entire generation of potential supporters? A family divided. Can there ever be reconciliation? If there's one thing that royal watchers and casual observers alike are wondering, it's this. Can Harry and Meghan ever truly reconcile with the royal family? After all, family feuds, even those involving crowns and castles, aren't uncommon. In most families, tension can simmer for years, only to be resolved through heartfelt conversations and forgiveness. But when your family's business is broadcast across the world, and when every disagreement becomes tabloid fodder, the stakes are much higher. Is reconciliation even possible? Or has too much damage been done? The public nature of Harry and Meghan's grievances makes a private resolution hard. Once you share your problems on a global stage, can you go back to being private? This is what happens when you have explosive interviews.